Hey there guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna be creating this wavy text animation. So as you can see here, it's just a simple text and the text is just moving in a wave-like motion. So first thing we're gonna do is just go inside the index.html and create our dummy text. Give this a title of wavy text. Inside of the body here, we'll just wrap this text inside of a container. Container. We're going to insert a h1 in here. Let's also give this a class of wave e text. And then inside of here, we're just going to have spans, which is just going to be each of those individual letters. So then we can target each individual letter and then create that animation. So I'll show you guys in a moment what I mean. So I'll say w, duplicate this three more times, a, V and then E. And that's all we're going to need for the HTML. Let's open this up with Live Server. So there's our text there. Let's first link our CSS. So it's got styles.css. Save that. Head into the style.css. And the first thing we're going to do is just center everything. So we'll grab the body, give this a height of 100 viewport heights, a margin of zero. Give this a background color of, just give it black. Save that. Let's now give the text some color. So we'll say white as the text. And then let's give this a font family of Arial. And then to center this, we're just gonna be using flex. So display flex. Justify content center, align items to the center. Save that. And that's all we're gonna need for the body. Next, we're gonna target those in each individual letters. So those spans. So this has the class of wavy text. And then we wanna target each individual span. The first thing we wanna do is just set this to display inline block. This gives us some extra functionality like adding width and height to each individual letter as well as font size. So we'll increase the font size to for rem, save that so they're nice and bigger now. Maybe a bit bigger actually, let's say six. Looking good. And then to create this animation, we're gonna to need to use the animation property as well as using the nth child on each individual span, which will represent each individual letter. And then we'll use keyframes and the transform property to move each individual letter on the Y axis. So first things first, we'll grab the animation property. We'll call this wave. Make this two seconds long, give it an ease in, out, and then make it infinite. Save that. And then again, we're gonna use the nth child, which we're just gonna select each individual letter. We can apply some property to that. So a wavy text, span, nth child, nth child for the first one, of course is one. So in this case, the nth child one here is the W here. So we're just gonna give this an animation delay of zero seconds, so it's gonna be the first one. And then we'll duplicate this three more times. So we'll target the second letter, third letter, fourth letter, and then we'll just give this a slight delay of 0 0.2 seconds, 0 0.4 seconds, and then lastly 0 0.6 seconds. Save that. And then now we're just gonna use keyframes to then create this animation. We'll say at keyframes, animation is called wave. And then we wanna say from the beginning of the animation and at the end of the animation, we want the transform, translate Y, which is gonna affect where the letters are on the Y axis. Set that to zero. So again, at the beginning and at the end, we want these to be at zero. But then halfway through the animation, so leading up to the middle, we want to grab the transform property again and then say translate on the y axis, say negative 20 pixels, which will push up each individual letter 20 pixels on the y axis, giving it that wave effect. And because we're delaying the animation on each individual letter, it's going to create that cool wave animation. So if I save this now, it should create that animation. And as you can see now, the animation is working just like in the demo example. Each individual letter is moving in like a wave effect animation. And all we've done is just use the keyframes the nth child 
to target each individual letter and just use the animation property. So a pretty cool, simple animation and pretty easy to create. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.